Hello. Today I would like to talk about my Marlin 39A. Some of the things that I really like about it uh, and why it's extremely important to me and why I really love this gun. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. The Marlin 39A is a tubular fed magazine. In the state of New York it holds 10 rounds. Check other states to see what you can carry there. Uh, it's uh, obviously lever action. This model has no safety, but what it does have is what's called a half cock. If you're not familiar with that, what you do is you pull your hammer down until you first click on the cam, and then nothing can set it off. It's, it's basically a safety, but you can still work the bolt. If you have to, you can pull it back manually and still fire it. It uh, has a nice smooth trigger, a good walnut stock. The sights, you have a blade front in the sight and a semi-buckhorn in the rear. I find them very easy to use. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a heavier gun. Uh, because of its capacity and, and its age and things. This particular model was made in 1945. And if you have a 39A and you'd like to know that, if you check down here underneath of the, the, uh, the lever, you will find a serial number. And the first letter denotes the year that it was made. C being 1945, B being 1940, and no number at all being 1939. Uh, this model was made into the 60s. Uh, at which point it was replaced with a uh, golden triggered version. The last hurrah of the 39A was in 1983. That's when they stopped production of those, and they're probably not going to pick it up anytime soon. There were reports a few years ago of it being revived. Probably not going to happen. So one of the neat features about the 39A that started somewhere with the 1897 model, I believe, is that it is a takedown model. In order to break the gun down, all you need is a large screwdriver. You put it in here, you take this screw out, it doesn't come out all the way, but it backs out, and then you can break the gun down into two halves. Uh, it makes it very easy to clean, also makes it easy to stow if you want to wrap it up and, and, and put it in a backpack, but because the barrel is so long, it's a 24 inch barrel, uh, it's not really the best for that kind of thing. And it's heavy, all steel. So it's, it's made to be easily deconstructed and cleaned. Um, so that's, that's the basic features of it. It fits well. It's uh, because of the sights. It's easy to acquire a target with it, even when it's on the move. I've taken many rabbits and squirrels, small game with it. Uh, so that's the basic functions on it. Now I'd like to talk about why it's important to me. So one of the reasons why this particular firearm is, is very important to me is it's what I call a generational firearm. Um, I am the third generation of my family to hunt and carry this out in the field. And that's one of the things that I, I think people miss a lot about firearms is this can be a heritage thing. Uh, my grandfather, this was his rifle. I remember watching him shoot squirrels, rabbits, uh, water snakes with it, uh, and it always had fine accuracy for him. My father as a young man and uh, as a kid took a lot of small game with it. In his words, he couldn't tell you how many rabbits he took with this. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a fine pairing with a beagle, I can tell you that. Um, and I personally have carried this firearm from one end of this state to the other. I mean, from the Canadian border down to the, the Maryland line, it's, it's gone with me and it's taken game everywhere I've gone with, with no issues. Uh, some people would would say that's not really a heritage thing, but to me it is. Um, you know, it's it's something that three generations of my people have shared, and and that's that's pretty cool. Um, and and it's one of the things that's it's very important that you have something to hand down to your children, something they can they can look at and say, wow, this was this was something that was carried by my grandfather. You know, this this particular rifle is it's almost seventy years old. It's seen a lot of service, and to still be accurate and to still be going at that age is pretty impressive. Uh, so once again, I mean, it was well taken care of by all of us, but you can see it's got its scuff marks and it's got its little rust spots from where it got wet, you know, it's it, and that to me all adds to a little bit of, of what it is and it adds a little bit of a story to it. And uh, I, I encourage if, if you have firearms, you know, teach your children, hand it down to them because someday they may pick up that little 22 rifle in the corner and think fondly of their grandfather. So that's why this is a, a really important firearm to me and one of the reasons that I think firearms are really important. 
So in conclusion, if you like lever guns like I do, and you like a smooth action like I do, I mean, that's pretty nice. Uh, if you're looking for a heavy old gun that's all steel, that's easy to take apart and clean, this is a great option. Uh, unfortunately, right now, you're probably looking at $1,000 right now on the used market because they've just been out of production for so long. Uh, I, I would not recommend buying anything that does come out of the new production until it's been proven just because of some of the issues that they've been having with quality control. Uh, but if, if you like old classic lines and you like something that's going to be around for 70 years, uh, this, this is a great firearm and it's something that you will be passing down to your children and their children. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.